Talk about a grand entrance. The First Lady of the United States. She strode out to the Rose Garden in a tailored military jacket from designer Alexander McQueen. Melania recognized the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic. I know many people are anxious and some feel helpless. I want you to know you're not alone. But check out the 70 VIP guests, spaced apart, but not by much. And do you see any masks out there? We're also learning that not all of them were tested for the virus, just those in the front rows near the president. And you didn't see this on TV. After the speech, they stuck around, mingling and hugging. That's Kellyanne Conway posing for pictures. The First Lady's 26-minute speech is being praised today, but she faces a looming crisis. The publication of a new book written by a once-trusted confidant. Melania and Me, The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady, is due out next week. According to one report, the author, Stephanie Winston Wilkoff, secretly recorded Melania making disparaging remarks about the president and his daughter Ivanka, who she supposedly calls a snake. Have you heard the First Lady say such things? Her spokesperson, Stephanie Grisham, was asked about the book on MSNBC. No, I've never heard Mrs. Trump say anything disparaging about the family. You know, if there were any recordings taken, it's really unfortunate to take advantage of somebody's trust like that while being a friend. I'm Tiffany Trump. Night two of the convention was a Trump family affair with a rare appearance from Tiffany. Eric Trump also took the stage. I'd like to speak directly to my father. I'm proud to watch you give them hell. Don Jr. is addressing those rumors on social media about his watery eyes during his speech Monday night. I guess there must have been something with the lighting, but they started doing this trending thing, uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s own cocaine and all that. I said, no, 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 you have me confused with Hunter Biden. And his girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle's spirited delivery is spawning a social media craze. The best is yet to come. The Guilfoyle Challenge. The best! <laughs>